and welcome back today i'm going to have a look at the c pen it's an amazing little pen because it enables you to actually read scan text and actually puts it into this little pen here in text format but also reads it back for you so if you're struggling with reading information this is a great little option and with the dictionary also built into it that just adds to the benefits when you purchase the pen i'll move that out of the way you get earphones now the earphones are really handy because with the pen as well you can actually record live audio but also you can use the headphones if you're actually reading back in an exam environment or somewhere where you need to be quiet because if you scan the text with the pen you can listen to it through the headphones rather than out on the mini speaker also it comes with a case here just a quick point on this case always place it in with the glass on the back as so and put it in because the back of it i'll put that there it's got a solid back so it will protect the glass bit better for you so always remember to do that but there's only one way you can put that in anyway also comes with a little mini usb as well which charges it and connects it to your computer or laptop or mac bear in mind with this take the text and save them on files actually on the c pen and then transfer them like a usb storage onto your laptop onto your computer or mac but also you can do the same with the audio files as well which is really handy but also if you take a laptop with you somewhere, you could sit in the library, then scan some text off, and it scans it straight into a word processor or a document on your laptop. So it could be Word, WordPad, text note. I'll show you that as well. Now, the pen gives you eight hours of scanning time, and it takes roughly about three hours to fully charge. Also, it's got eight gigs of storage. So remember, if you're saving audio as well, because you might save it in MP3 or maybe WAV format if you want to transcribe it. I'll show you that as well, actually. That's a separate using Office 365. It's got a built-in dictionary with Collins English Dictionary and Oxford Primary Dictionary you can choose as well. So, shall we get stuck right into it? So, first thing I'm going to do, obviously, see the power button here. This is where you turn it on, and it's indicated by a little red symbol. So, if I tap on it once, and there you go, it turns on. It's quite a bright screen, actually. Now, when you start it up, you get these options. Text reader, dictionary, scan to file, record and settings now go to settings first because you need to choose your menu language now if i select it i'm happy with english but you've also got french and spanish okay if i click the little red button tap it once it brings us back to where we were before so look at that as a backup button all right if i click back up again if i go back into it i'm going to change the language again and i'm going to go back up and to English. There we go. Now, if you scroll down as we've got talking menu, you can turn the reading on or off. I turn the reading off, it repeats all the menus, and that's kind of handy if you suffer from visual impairment as well. But just use the left or right arrows to turn that off and on. If I turn it back on, there you go. Also, you've got the speed of the readback feature as it reads back to you there as well. You can change that left and right again. And you've got the volume underneath as well. I'm going to turn that up actually to 30. And then remember the red button to come back out of there. Scroll down, so that's all set up. Now you've got exam lock. Now, if you're provided this pen in an exam environment, what they do, they'll select it and select lock. And they'll add a little pin number in there. So let me come back out of there. So it just disables options like dictionary within the pen. So if you're on an exam environment, you can't obviously use a dictionary. So it still helps you with the readback features. You can hear text read back to you and stuff. So I'm going to select back up I scroll down a bit more for you left or right handy which is really important because as you scan obviously you'll be scanning at different angles depending if you're left or right handed so I've got it on right handed because I scan that way and I'm going to click the red backup button again brightness again that's your preference date and time I haven't added yet because I've just opened it now auto shutdown could be useful now you might decide actually I need to turn off after five minutes so I'm going to click five minutes myself, actually, and that could save the battery. As I said, the battery should last around eight hours of scanning options for you. You've got statistics of what your pen's done and software upgrade as well. Now, if you want to run the wizard, it's quite handy, actually, because it sets everything up for you straight away. Let me show you. So talking menu, I do not want, so it doesn't tell me, so it doesn't talk back the menus for me. Click the middle button, English I want. Again, you can choose French, Spanish as well, but I'll stick it on English, click the middle button. British English, so different accents as well. You've got a Scottish accent there as well, and Australian. 
But again, I haven't got Cockney accents. I'm going to leave it on British. Right-handed, which I am. And the width is done. So that's a quick way of setting it up. Now click the red button to come back out of there. And then we can scroll to the top. To where we started. Now the first option is to read text. So when we scan text, it will actually read it back for you and show you it on the screen. So what we do, what we're going to do is actually grab the actual manual that come with the pen. And here we go. So we'll use this as an example. So I've got it on text reader. So what I need to do is click the middle button. And it will open up in a blank screen ready for me to scan. Now when you scan with this, quick point here. See the top? You've got a little plastic option here. It's quite strong, but when that pushes down, the light goes on, it'll start scanning. Okay. You get used to this because you've got to do it at a certain angle and keep straight. So I'm going to give it a go. So I'm going to do actually the first line at the top there. And just drag it along. And there you go. Perfect. And then I'll decide actually I want to do the end line. Perfect. So then you can actually scan the text and have it read back. Now if I come here to the little up and down arrow, I'm going to go up. And I want to go to the beginning and I want to hear that again. So click the middle button. The menu button provides access to several and options to look up words in dictionary. Perfect. Now if I actually go up and select a specific word I might be struggling with. So I'm going to select the word several. Now if I come and select menu here at the top. You can see it gives me an option, clear screen, which I don't want to do because I want to keep that text. But I'm going to select definition and select the middle button. And there you go. I've now got a dictionary for that word. So if I click the middle button, it will read back. And if you click that middle button again, it will also stop it for you. And remember to go back, click the red button. And there you go. Click the red button again. It takes me back to exactly where I was. So I can change between words and choose where I want to read back from or check the dictionary. So I'm going to come back out with that with the red button. It takes us back to where we've begun. So that only puts the text on the screen for you. It doesn't actually save it on the pen. Now what I'm going to do is, before I go to the option where we can actually scan to file, I'm going to select dictionary. Because you might just want to check one specific word. So again, remember, click the middle button. And it will bring up the screen again. Now important here, you choose the dictionary you want. Now you can see left to right arrow, I'm currently on English, so you can change that of course to French or Spanish, but I'm leaving it on English. But it's the right option I want to show you, Collins Dictionary, up or down. Now I could choose the Collins English Dictionary, or you might decide you want the actually Oxford Dictionary. I think the Oxford Dictionary has over 16,000 words and phrases as well, so I'll let you choose what you want there. But I'm going to leave it on the Collins. So what I've got to do now is scan. So let's scan a word, shall we? I'm going to scan button. And there you go. And if I click the middle button, it will read back. And click it to stop it. So you can check the dictionary as well and use that specifically. You don't have to scan text and do a word. You can do specific words to check. And again, red button brings you out. Red button again. So that's your dictionary done. Go down one. Now this is the one, scan to file. So anything I use this option to scan from a document, maybe in a library doing research and you're grabbing quotes and stuff, you could use this. Then you can transfer it to your PC or Mac as a file text file and access that information. We're going to give that a go. So I've selected scan to file. I'm going to select the middle button and it will open up for me. Now if I've done a file already, I could select open file and I could even delete files I've got in there. But the important factor, come down to scan settings and click the middle button. Make sure you're choosing your scan language and select reading settings as well. So you can choose the read back feature, the speed you want it read back as well. Or maybe as you scan, you don't want it read back. So you could turn that off while scanning. But I'm just going to leave that on to show you if that's all right. And then you've got their speed underneath and word pause. So you can choose the amount of pause you want between each word as well. And at the bottom there, you've got your volume. So again, red button brings us out. Red button again. So I'm now going to choose to scan to file by clicking that middle button. Do a new file. And I'm just going to do that line here. And there it is. Menu 
provides access to several. And you remember, I didn't turn it off to read back, so I left that on. So now that's saved to the actual pen. Remember, it's got eight gigs, so you can save a lot of storage. I'm going to come down. I'm going to do another line here. Let's do a few, shall we? So I'm going to do that one. And that one. And that one. Now, remember, you've got your headphones in at the top, and you can plug your headphones in right here at the top here. Then no one else will hear that as well. So that's really useful to use the headphones as well. Okay. So there we go. Got all that information. Now, before I actually put that into my PC, it automatically saves, by the way. I'm going to click the red button to come out of there. Click it again to come out of there. Because I want to do the recorder as well before we plug it in. So we can actually record. Could be a meeting, could be a lecture could be in placements so you need to take down information it's up to you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the middle button on recorder now before you do anything else I always recommend coming down to the bottom select settings and that's a bit boring but select file format choose your format mp3 is more compressed wave is more raw better quality now if you want to save storage I mean you've got eight gigs on here anyway you'd probably use mp3 but I'll tell you why I'm using WAVE, because I'm going to take this audio file, upload it to Office 365 and transcribe this audio into text. So I need good quality sounds. I'm going to leave that on WAVE. You don't have to do that if you don't want to do that. It's just something I'm going to show you anyway. So come back out of there. That's all good. Then come down to file quality and I'll put it on high. Because as I said, I need good quality. So come back out there with the red button. Perfect. Now I'm going to click the middle button. That's all set up. See recorder. Click the middle button and click record. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to read just a little bit of this manual, see how it picks up. A text file might also be opened, edited, and saved via pen user interface at any time later. It is possible to open a text file and have the content used out loud, sorry, read out loud, hyphen, like text reader, full stop. Now I'm going to press the stop button. And I'm going to click, I can click OK to carry on, but I don't want to. So I'm going to come out there with the red button. It automatically saves it. Can you see? So it's done. Come out there again. And there we go. So I've now got a scanned file that I actually added earlier. And I've now got an audio file. Now, if I come out of there, the red button, I'm now going to plug in the mini USB and plug this into my PC. So I'm going to choose keyboard. Well, while it's connecting, I'm now going to open a blank Word document, or you can do a notepad or word pad and make sure the cursor's in there. Now, let's go back to the pen. You can see it's come up character scanning. So now, whatever I scan with the pen and connect it through the USB, it should scan onto my Word document. So let's give it a go. There's the first line. See, it's come up there. Let's do something else. Excellent. So what could be useful for? If you're in a library, you just need to get some quotes down for your research or something quickly. Just scan it straight into a document. Or use that other option I showed you as well, which I'm going to show you in a minute where you scan to file. So there's a text saved automatically. Now, what I'm going to do next with this is always unplug it properly. Bottom right hand corner, go to your task. I'm going to unplug it. Now, I'm going to plug it back in again. This time, I'm going to go to UDisk, because remember that file we saved earlier? Right, let's have a quick look at Connect Desktop. You can download this from the link here. It's a free app that you can download to Windows, Mac, iOS. You can even get the app on your phone, so you can have it on Android, iPhone, tablets as well. You'll be using the Connect BT10, which is Bluetooth enabled. But as I'm using a reader pen today and using a mini USB, so what you do once you've installed it, now make sure you choose the correct language and then choose whether you want it minimized in tray or not. That will sit in the bottom right hand corner of your tray next to your time and date. And again, I'll do settings level default and select next. I'm going to maximize the window. This is accessibility, so how it actually looks. So you can change the sound and the visual look. 
So for example, if you suffer from visual impairment, you might want to put that up a little bit to 110. So once the app's open, everything will be at a percentage. You can choose your font there. So if I select, for example, open dyslexic, you can see at the bottom how the text changes. I'm going to put it back to default and you can change the font size, letter spacing and also line spacing and select next. Now text scanning is more for the C Pen Connect BT10. You can actually scan directly from a document into this application using your reader pen as well via the USB. But in this case it's asking you whether you want to use the C Pen Connect BT10. So once you've connected it through Bluetooth then you can scan directly from a document into this application and it will read back automatically for you. In this case it doesn't really affect me so I'm just going to leave that. Scanning language, make sure you choose the correct language and select next. And again now it's text to speech option so come voice this Hazel, have a little listen. This is an example sentence. You can change the settings later if you want, you don't have to come back to this whole setup again. But you've got the volume here, you can change talking speed and picture voice. Select next. So you have some services built into the app that will help with the understanding and learning. You can't access the dictionary, for example, unless you've got a Connect Cloud account. But I'm going to skip that. I haven't got an account. And we're nearly there now with the setup. And at the top, if you've actually got your pen, Connect BT10 Bluetooth pen, you can connect it by following the options there. But I'm using the reader pen. So I could just access the file browser and then I can actually import the files from the pen into this app quite easily. But I'm just going to skip that. And let's have a look at Connect Desktop. So if I go to the top here, you can choose what you're going to access and what pen you're using. But I want to go down to File Browser and start from there. So the first thing I need to do is when I was scanning earlier, I scanned some text to save file on the actual pen. I'm now going to import them into here where I can save them and organize them. So I'm going to select New File. I'm going to select Import Text from File, select Choose File. There's my pen here. It's in the H drive. I'm going to open up my scan file and I'm going to choose the first one and select open. I'm happy with that. I can't sync to cloud because I haven't got the Connect Cloud account, but I'm going to select create anyway. And you can see now I've imported it into my Connect Desktop app. I'm going to do another one actually. I'm going to go back up to new file, choose another one, and let's choose the first one, open, and again select create. There you go, so if I go between them, I've now stored them in here, ready to go. Now I'm going to come to the window on the right here. See top left hand corner? That's your reader option, where it reads back for you. So, if I click on the first one and select the play button at the bottom. Reader pen is designed with the purpose of being a reading assistant. I can pause there, or stop. If you want to change your read back options, select it here on the left and you can change the scanning language, the volume and the talking speed. All your original settings are here, what we did before when we set it up, so you can change, for example, your voice. Come back to the left, I'm going to go to File Browser again, back to where we were. Also in this window, come to the right, you've got three little dots. You can click here to edit the text, but you can do that anyway. I'll show you by clicking the icon top left. You can undo or redo anything, and you can also copy all text and even clear text box. So if I select clear text box, it's all gone. So be careful, if I go back to it here, you can see it's cleared it off in here. You can still import it back in again with the text, but if you make a mistake, just select undo. Now if I come back top left, reader, so if I select edit text, we're well now in edit mode, you can see it's highlighted words that might have spelling issues. I'm going to delete that word there. Right, so it's underlined these reader pens, which is pointless really because that's the name of the actual pen so I'm not going to change that but you can add additional text here if you want so that gives you the option then to edit it now I'm going to come back up here and select reading mode again now there's an option here so if I click on information once I could then can you see that rectangle gone round it blue one if I do a right click on it I could play from that point and it will read from that point onwards or there might be a word in that document that I want to add to a word list and it could be for a number of reasons. One, it's a word you struggle with. Whatever the reason, I'm going to select add word to list. So there's the word information. So I'm going to create a new word list because I haven't got a list for this yet. So I'm going to call this 
I'll just put understanding words as an example. I'm going to choose a color tag, and this could be quite useful because you can color tag different word lists. It makes it much easier for you to identify. Language English, which is fine, I'm going to select create. Now let me show you where that's gone. If I come to the left here and select the vocabulary option, there it is. I'll come back to that in a minute again. Let's go back up to file browser. Uh, let's do another word. So I'm going to select definitions. Right click. I can play from here. Definition dictionaries make under which is very and good. Stop at the bottom. But if I do a right click, I can add word to list as well. I don't think I've got the dictionary lookup on the translate. I think you do need a connect cloud option for that. So I'm just going to add that to my word list. Now I'm going to add it to the same file understanding words. I could create a new one. So I can have different files, lists of words, but I'm going to add it to the other one. And let's do one more. Information. Right click. Add word to list. Let's create a new one for this one. So I've got information again, so I'm going to put... Let's put verbs or nouns in as an example. And select create. So there we go. I've now added a few words that I might want to work with to my word list. Now if I come over to the left and select vocabularies, I've now got two of those files. So if I select the first one, understanding words, and I can select open. And it brings this window open for me. Remember I colour coded it that colour as well. So if I went to verb and nouns, you can see that's grey. So let's go back to understanding words. So I've got two words in there. I could add another word manually if I want. And select add. Now the option is that gives you is to help you with understanding definitions of words or pronouncing them. So if I come up here and select this little plus option that says practice using the word list, tap on it, it brings up this little menu. So first thing I could do, I could go through the words one by one, click to listen, try to pronounce it. Let's give that a go. So I'm going to click the little play button in the middle and it's going to say the word. Hope. Hope. Then I'm going to come down and do the next word. Again, press it. Definition. Definition. Could be useful if you're doing a presentation, for example. Last word. Information. Information. Now, if I go back to the left to my vocabularies again, I'm going to choose that option again, plus practice using word list. We've got an option that says explain the meaning of the words. Now, how this works is you go through each word, you click to listen, and then you've got to try and explain the meaning of that word. And it has like a little flip card option. You, you type in the meaning of the word, and then you flip it over, and it actually gives you the definition of that word. So I'm going to click on it. So I'm going to click play. Definition. And I'm going to give my belief of the meaning of the word. So I put to explain something. Now the option I've got here would normally be to flip it over. But again you need a Connect Cloud account to access the dictionary so I can't show you that. But that would give you the proper definition of that word. So I'm going to flip back. And at the bottom you can go through each word. So I'm going to come back to left again and select vocabularies. And the last option you've got in there, find a spoken word in a haystack. So if you've got loads of words, it will start playing them back randomly. And you've got to click on the one that you believe is the word. So if you're doing, for example, a medical degree, let's try it out. So I'm going to click on it. Wait for the timer. Hope. Select the one you need. And if you select the wrong one, which I'll show you. Information. And there you go. You can skip words and finish game early if you want. So again, there's just little things built around here for you to identify and understand the words and pronouncing them. So we've got your file explorer where you import, and we've now got your vocabularies. Now I want to come down to an option that says word uses statistics. There's a file on your pen, let me show you. I'm going to open it up manually first to show you. Scroll down, I think it's under H drive for me, it is. This file here, statistics. When you use your pen, any words you struggle with, like you might check in a dictionary or play back, it saves that word in there so you can access it later within the app. So that way you can analyse the words you're struggling with and you can share it with a teacher, tutor, or maybe it's just for you to reinforce your learning. So I could right click it and I could select open with connect desktop. Or if I just come up to the top and select import file, choose file. 
then find that statistics file there it is double tap it and select import and it's imported in there for me also you can change the range of dates up here if you need to as well for the words that were was saved to the file now unfortunately I haven't got dictionary lookup or translation lookup so I can only use the option read with text to speech so where I've got that file there I can choose how many words I want to appear so I'm just going to do 7 and select search stats and there's all the words and how many times you've actually accessed on your pen there's a couple of ones I'll get rid of spelling errors there but it's really handy because then you can break down the words that you tend to struggle with now what I can do at the bottom I can create a statistics file from the results or create a word list so if I select create a word list I can call this words I'm sure of don't have to use the color tag but I still think it's kind of handy so we'll do a kind of blue there language English and select create so now if I come back up here remember where it is vocabularies there it is words I'm sure of and those were the words that were listed in my statistics file and again you can use this option here we can go through them all to practice them but let me go back to statistics so again I'm going to do a search bring those words up again I can create a statistics file from results so if I tap on it there's a date and time and the period of the month if I click on it you can bring up all those words there that you stored and if I click to the right as well I can remove them or rename it if you need to or just open it up which I've done anyway you've also got a few current stats here as well if you need to so anything you don't want so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to remove that as we don't need that so let me close that If I scroll down to my drives, you can see C610R, that is the actual storage on the pen. So I should have a scan file in there, which I do, and I should also have a recording of an audio. There you go, I've got two in there. So I'm going to open up the scan file first. Remember what I scanned to file? And that should open up. And there's all my information. There, that I scanned, perfect. And also, if I come back out of here, grab that audio file there, I could technically upload that to Office 365 and transcribe that audio that I heard, that audio that I recorded, into text. I'll tell you what, I'll show you that now quickly while I'm here. Right, let's give it a go. Top right hand corner, see a little arrow dictate, select transcribe. I need to upload that file, so I'm going to select upload audio. And we know where it is, it's actually on my H drive, which is my e-recorder. And I'm going to double tap it to open it up. Now look to the right, it's now uploading to my Office 365. Put it uploads to your OneDrive. Give it a little while and then we'll transcribe that text. And there we go, so we see the quality of that. I'm going to select play. A text file might also be opened, edited and saved via a pen user interface at any time later. It's possible to open it. And there we go. Now if I come to the bottom, I can select add to document. And I'm going to extract it to this Word document with timestamps, how long they were. And there you go. I've now got all that information for my C pen uploaded to Office 365 and transcribed for me as well. So remember to eject your pen properly. And what I'm going to do is just going to unplug it as so. And that is how easy it is to use to get you up and running with it. Hope that was a help. Thanks for watching.